my good buddy Aaron said, hey, amigo, it's on. So once again, it's time to leave my wonderful wife and the comforts of home and head south. Down here in Florida, I can walk out my back door at any given time and catch plenty of peacock bass. But sometimes you've just got to do the real deal. But this merry band of men isn't satisfied with two and three pounders. After jumping through COVID hoops, we arrive at the magnificent port of Puerto Inirida. A four hour boat ride, and here we are, home sweet home. Las Lagunas. It sure beats a five by five pup tent on a sandbar. Five star, Amazon jungle style. No pain, no gain, right? A quick unpack, throw some rods together, and forecast later, bam, a 21 pounder, followed by a beautiful 11 pound fish. I guess I'm the self-appointed videographer, so next up, it's Aaron's turn. Yep. Yeah. Look at the blue. Yeah. Look at the blue. Nice. Woo, blue. Ah, nice mail. Yep. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yep. Look at the knot, Ooh. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Not as big Super. as that when it jumped off, but it's a good fish. Super. Cheese. <laughs> Look at the knot. What a beauty! Flyers? Esta? Ah, si. Pretty fish. Pretty, pretty boy. Looks more like your typical Columbia fish. Yes. Traditional. Look more like Brazil fish, like that last one I jumped off. Oof. Yeah, well, he was hooked. I wish mine was hooked that good. Ah, uh, see. Nice. You get a good tanner. Tanner? 12 or maybe? Say about 14, 15, 14? 13. How much? 13. 13? Lucky 13? Lucky cool. 13. Okay, cheeseburger. I'm going to shut the video. I'm going to get you a picture, okay? Okay, buddy. There you go. This studly male has the more typical coloration of Colombian fish. That was fun. Let's do it again. We soon discover that the fish are in full breeding mode and the ones willing to play are few and far between. What that does give us is vivid colors that you'll only see at this time. 62 degree Fahrenheit mornings gave us steamy mist off the rivers with no rain in sight. We continued to pick through the fish and got some beauties. Here's a 20 pounder followed by a 10. Another day, another opportunity for that once in a lifetime catch with Aaron again. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, he should go about 13. It's okay, Arlo. It's okay, buddy. I'll bring him to you. It's on a good fish.
Esse voo, hein? Where's the jump? Where's the jump? Oh, yeah. There you go. Go, go, get him, get him. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's about hey. oh. 16. Good man. I tell you. Hey, smile for the camera. Damn right I will. <laughs> Look at this guy. That was the one we saw cruising, huh? Yeah. With the smaller one. Yeah. So the smaller one is probably 10 pounds. Probably. What did I say? It's so distorted. Hey, you got who's got eyes? I got mine. I don't even know where the scale is. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it. Hey, give me get to him. Hey, hey. Okay? Veintito. 22. 22? Wow. Oh, yeah. There you go. There Whoa, you go. baby. We usually release the payara, but the locals here find them to be a delicacy, so we partook in some fish cakes. You never quite know what you'll see out here. The big iridescent blue morphous butterflies were really hard to get on film. So I got a couple of other subjects to take their place. Here are a few from recent trips to Brazil and Colombia. I didn't manage to get that 25 pound dream fish to the boat this time, but that's what keeps you coming back. Everyone broke 15, so all is good. Aaron with a Mataguaro in Colombia called Jacunda in Brazil, followed by an 18 pounder on an Australian lure called the Crossfire and another nice speckled. The guides are as excited as we are when you get a big one and they're the ones you want holding your fish since they're usually smaller in stature. Here's another 19 pounder. And if your buddy likes to throw into the trees, you're making something special. We have so many fishing opportunities at home in South Florida, but there's just something about these guys. They fight way above their weight class and when it's on, look out. They'll smash big, noisy topwater lures that will send most bass running for cover. Throw in a dash of arowana, a teaspoon of piranha, and a cup of payara, or vampire fish, and you have the recipe for an exciting adventure. Whether it's one of the smaller subspecies, they come in many different patterns. Or a big 21 pounder like this one in Brazil, there's always something to keep you busy. Here's a nine pound true butterfly, Cicla ornosensis, and another 19 pound top dog, Cicla temensis. 
another butterfly with the three distinctive blotches. It doesn't get much prettier than that. A 19 and a half on the Rio Tomo, so close to that magic 20 mark. The speckles, called Paca in Brazil, always give that little extra. And this pretty little boy is Cicla Intermedia. Welcome to Heartbreak Hotel. Even though you dot all your I's and cross all your T's, they always have that little something extra in store for you. So bring plenty of tackle and be prepared. Our merry band of worried travelers are already preparing for the next trip. Till next time.